In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five productivity habits that allow me to grow from zero to six figure business in less than 10 months at 30 years old. At this point, I'm running a sustainable five figure months business on business and marketing coaching. I learned to apply these habits in my life by listening to mentors and people that are where I want to be. If you want to learn more about entrepreneurship, business strategy, and online marketing for coaches and business owners, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And you need to stay until the end because habit number five could literally change your life. Habit number one, not texting back immediately. I learned this when I was in college and I had a full-time job. I was in college. At the same time, I had like freelance jobs too. At that point, I had like six different clients. They keep emailing me, texting me all the time. And then I had a mentor at that time in college and I would tell her what was going on. And she told me this, you are not obligated to respond to them right away. And he got me thinking, yeah, of course, you will teach people how to interact with you the same way you interact with them. Having boundaries is something that will boost your productivity big time. If you know me, you know that if you text me, I don't reply immediately. <laughs> Having number two, unfollow on social media. This habit for me has been life changing. I literally started doing this after a year that I started my business and I regret why I didn't know about this sooner. Here's what I've learned. We tend to have high tolerance to the things that are not important. I remember I will work hours and hours and hours, but I wasn't working on the right things and I was doing tons of activities that weren't making a difference in the business. So I went to this conference one day and I heard someone say it. You need to create more than you consume. Consume more of what helps you grow as well. And this person was right. What we consume, it becomes what we think. And then what we think is how we pretty much act. So what I do is that I do this exercise at least every three months and I go to my Facebook, I go to my Instagram, I go to my TikTok and I unfollow every single person that I felt or I feel that was not helping me to focus on the most important things that matter to me. If you follow lots of people on social media and you feel like you're constantly scrolling, consuming no sense content, and at the end feeling empty after you do it because you're literally not doing the things that you're supposed to do, or even getting negative feelings about it while you're scrolling, if that person of that company or that social media account doesn't make you feel empowered, positive, or uplifted, just unfollow. Also learn to ask this question to myself. Is this account, is this person that I see and follow on social media, is it that person and that content adding value to my goals and my mission? This person and the content they're putting out, it's helping me to achieve my goals. Habit number three, scheduling priority work time. I learned this from this book that I have right here. And I apply the Stephen Coy's four quadrant of productivity. I do, and I use this quadrant every week. And what I do is that I go every Sunday afternoon and divide a piece of paper in four squares. Let me explain you how I do it. We just divide this piece of paper in four. It's not like the perfect cut. To have this, I'm gonna divide it on urgent, not urgent, important, not important. And here you can say that what's urgent and what's important for me is what is giving me money directly. What are the activities that are driving me money directly? What's important, and it's not 100% urgent, are the things that need to have a specific timing. Like working out. Or like have a call with clients. Things that are important but are not 100% urgent because they already have a time frame. Other side, I add 
things that are urgent but are not important. On this fact right here is where I delegate activities. Like editing videos, social media planning, and meetings. Yes, there are could be urgent but are not 100% important. This same right here, we have the not important and not urgent. In this case, you can say Netflix or, um, I don't know, partying. Things that are literally not going to do anything for you. Things that are definitely not going to drive you money. Things that are not urgent or not important. Also, I daily use this productivity planner to prioritize daily tasks according to quadrants to guide me where I need to go. And this is my productivity planner. I'm going to explain you how to use it. So for example, if you have a specific day, so you just going to write down the most important things for you for the day. Things that you need to do 100% before you do anything else. And then from there, I just put my important task, secondary tasks, and additional tasks. And from there, I can just pick specific certain times in time frames that I have for specific tasks. So that way I know how I am going to manage my day and how I'm going to organize everything. If you want to find a planner like this, I left you my Amazon store in the description below for you to choose the right planner for you and some more gadgets and useful tools for entrepreneurs like us. Habit number five, rewarding myself with my phone. When I'm working during the day, I put my cell phone charging on the other side of the office. My rule to myself is that I'm not going to grab my phone until I finish the task I'm working on. At times we try to distract ourselves thinking, oh, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, uh, let's see what's happening on social media, let me check my email. But in reality, what it works for me, probably not going to work for you, but it depends how you maneuver things. It works for me where I don't even have water next to me sometimes because it creates a type of distraction in my brain when I need to focus. They say that out of sight, out of mind, right? And I think it works for me. I have found this super, super useful for me to focus. Applying these tools have tremendously helped me to focus and get things done and literally grow my business in a small amount of time. And this is what successful people do. You create boundaries and things that work for you, for you to keep successful, for you to keep focused on what you need to do and what's important for you, your life, and your business.